Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll cover the Quick Develop panel here in the Library module. There are a few different scenarios when I'll turn to the Quick Develop panel to make quick adjustments to my photos without having to go to the Develop module. First though, if yours looks like mine, then you're not seeing all of its capabilities. Anywhere you see a sideways triangle in Lightroom, you can click to expand. I'll click on all three of these triangles and you can see that we have many controls in here. Between white balance and tone control, we have all of the settings that we have in the basic panel in the develop module. The first scenario where I'll use the quick develop panel is if I'm evaluating photos and I can't really make a good decision on whether I want to keep it or not until I make one or more adjustments. I can go to the develop module but it's just quicker for me to bump up the exposure or other setting right here. It's not as precise, but I don't need precision at this point. The single arrow will modify exposure or another setting by a small amount, and then the double arrow would modify it by a larger amount, one-third of a stop and one stop for exposure. If you hold down the Shift key, the single arrow amount will be cut in half. So with the shift key down, this would increase exposure by one-sixth of a stop. The shift key trick only works in Lightroom 6. I'll go back to grid view. The second scenario where I would turn to the quick develop panel is to quickly reset one or more photos back to how they were shot. If I'm in grid view and I select multiple photos by clicking on the first and then shift clicking on the last, I can click on reset all and I'm back to their starting points. The third scenario is just that it's a quick way to make changes to multiple photos. You'll see in my video on working on groups of photos in the develop module with sync and auto sync that you can edit multiple photos at once in the develop module. But again, for simple changes, it can be quicker to do them here in the library module, particularly if you're already in the library module. I'll select these three photos by clicking on the first and then shift clicking on the last. Let's say that I'm going to want to export cropped versions of these. I'll click on the crop ratio drop down. Let's say that for my website, I need them all to be squares. I can set the crop ratio here in the library module. Then I could go to the develop module and go into the crop tool and modify which portion of the photo I take for each one but I've gotten off to a quick start here in the library module. I can set the crop ratio. I can convert one or more to black and white. I can apply a preset. So we've got all of the Lightroom presets and then any user presets that you've created as well. Finally, the quick develop panel allows me to do one thing that I can't do otherwise, and that's to make the same relative changes to multiple photos. Let's say that I want to bump up the exposure on both of these photos by a third of a stop. I'll click on the first triangle here to do that. I actually can't make that specific change to multiple photos in the develop module. With sync and auto sync in develop, I can set the exposure on both of the photos to be exactly 1.0 or 1.3, for example. But here in the library module, what I'm doing is I'm saying regardless of what exposure is set to for this photo in the develop module, add 0.33 more. So 0.33 gets added to both of these, even though they may have completely different starting points. So it allows us to make those relative changes. Now for the changes to be applied to all of your selected photos, you need to be in grid view. If instead you're in loop view and you have multiple photos selected, your change will only be applied to the active photo in your selection. It's the brightest photo in your selection. So remember to be in grid view if you want to affect all of your selected photos. If your photo is missing or offline, Quick Develop will be grayed out. Just like you can't go to the Develop module with a missing or offline photo, you can't access the quick develop controls. Finally, you can collapse these down 
if you don't plan to use particular areas of the Quick Develop panel. This concludes the video on Quick Develop.